Okay, this little video is going to show you how to import a JWPub document into JW Library, either on your iPhone or iPad. So I'm going to open up my email first. And there is an email for myself that has the two, two documents. One is for uh, the first one, the top one there, is a JWPub, which we're talking about today. The second one is a PDF format. It's the same document, just two different formats. If I click on PDF, you'll see that it opens it up and I can fully read this document. But that's all I can really do with it uh, besides maybe print it if I have a printer. But none of the scriptures or the reference materials uh, are linkable, so you would have to look those up on your own. So let me show you the advantage of having a JW Pub document. So I'm going to click it. It opens up this screen. What I need to do now is to open this document in JW Library. So the button on the top right corner, it's the share sheet button. It's a square with an up arrow. I'm going to tap that. It opens up this menu. Now on the second line, it shows a list of applications that it's offering for me to use. So I'm looking for JW Library. Don't see it. So I go down to the end to More, the M-O-R-E, More button. I'm going to tap it. And you'll look down your list, and there's JW Library. So I know this is something I'm going to use in the future, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the Edit button in the top right corner. And I'm going to click the green plus button next to JW Library that will now add it to my list of, of documents. Now I'm going to tap on the three lines and drag it up toward the top. Maybe the second item there. Now I'm going to click done. And done. I'm going to hit done again. Now when I come back here, look, JW Library is the second app on my choices. So that's what I want. I'm going to choose it. So I'm going to click it. And look, it's imported our document into JW Library. Let me pull out to the beginning and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we'll go to the home screen. So where is this document I just imported? Well, right now it's under Publications. So I'm going to click on Publications. And there it is. But let me back, back, back out just a second. Here is a list of publications. So that document is going to be stored under guidelines, the next to last uh, item on our list, so guidelines. So when I open it up, I see there are four documents there. The third one is the one we just imported, so I'm going to click on it. And there's the blue link for it, so I'm going to click that. And here is the document, same one we just saw a while ago. But notice that you can click on the scriptures, and now they open up so that you can read them. Also notice that if you go down to uh, reference material, let's find a reference material. Here we go. Here's a Kingdom Ministry from 2000. If I tap on it, there it is. There's the article that they're referring to. Uh, come down a little bit further and you see here's some watchtowers. I can click on the watchtower and there's the article. So you can see why it's much nicer to have it in your JW Library program. Uh, for future use and for studying. So that concludes our instructions. If you have any questions, let me know.